What is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video and guys today we are back with another Budget Squad episode. Today we are talking about defensive tackles. Now if you guys are interested we did do another one of these yesterday. You can go back and check out my previous videos. We did one on defensive ends yesterday but today we're talking about the guys on the interior of the defensive line and we're going to again go over guys who are good pass rushers, good run stuffers and then guys who are balanced. So with that being said guys let's start off here and we're going to go right into it we're going to start off with some balanced defensive tackles um, guys these are guys who are both good against the run as well as the pass they're not necessarily elite in either of those things but they're going to be serviceable in both so these are the guys if you're if you're kind of mixing and matching these are the guys who are typically going to be on the field for you so on the left side of the screen we have uh, a more expensive card this is a seasoned veterans darnell docket 96 overall very, very good card. Goes for 140,000 coins. And on the right side of your screen, you're going to see a cheaper card here. Nick Fairley, Campus Hero, 92 overall. Another good card. Definitely one that is serviceable once again. And I think that's the big thing here is that we're not necessarily, again, saying that the card on the right is better than the card on the left. But for the coin difference, I certainly think you could make the case that it's a better value. So with that being said, I mean, take a look at some of these attributes here. I mean, first of all, you're going to see that the run support attributes for Nick Fairley are actually better than Darnell Dockett in most of the in most of the categories. The only real thing where he's kind of lags behind uh, is strength. He's one behind him in strength. Um, and he is a little bit lower on pursuit and a lot lower on play recognition. If those are two things that you care a lot about out of your defensive tackle, I'm not necessarily sure that I care that much about those things out of a defensive tackle, but you know, if if you are somebody that does care, that is something to think about. But they're the same in power move, which I think is kind of interesting for pass rushing. Uh, but it's actually interesting that Nick Fairley is five higher in block shed, four higher in hit power, and two higher in tackling. So I mean. For run support, purely run support, Nick Fairley is actually better than Darnell Dockett. Um, again, he isn't quite as good uh, in the overall pass rushing moves because he's not going to have as good of a finesse move, and his acceleration and speed are quite a bit lower. Well, speed is only one lower, but his acceleration is six lower, which is significant. But in the grand scheme of things, I think that these cards are actually pretty darn similar. And Nick Fairley for 20,000 coins is definitely a good, solid base defensive tackle if you're looking for somebody to kind of be on the field the majority of the plays for you. Now, moving on, we're going to take a look at another set of budget defensive tackles here. These are, again, balanced defensive tackles. Quite a bit cheaper, though. Uh, we're moving down the this pay scale here. If you're somebody that doesn't have 20,000 coins right now to spend on a defensive tackle... You might want to look at Aaron Donald. Now, he's an 87 overall base elite defensive end, or defensive tackle, excuse me. And we're going to compare him to Jonathan Babineau, seasoned veteran, going for about 50,000 coins. It's a 94 overall. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice here is that there's actually quite a bit of green on the right side of your screen under Aaron Donald. He is one of the faster de base defensive tackles in the game, non-upgraded, uh, you know, like I said, base elite player, 82 speed, 88 acceleration is really, really nice as far as your, um, you know, your pass rushing goes. And what's nice about Aaron Donald is that he's not poor against the run either. He does have decent sh uh, strength. His block shedding is a little bit weak at an 87, 88 for tackling, 76 for hit power. I mean, it's, you know, it's a defensive tackle. How often are they really going to square up and hit a guy very hard? Um, but, you know, where he does lag behind, of course, awareness, play recognition, those things are kind of the things that lower a lot of overalls in this game um, to where it makes the player look worse than they really are, in my opinion, especially when they play a position like D-tackle because you're not really worried that much about play recognition or awareness. They pretty much have two jobs, either go to the quarterback or hit the running back. Those are your two jobs. And so, you know, for a, for a defensive tackle, I don't even really look at awareness or play recognition. I just put those things on here because I know a lot of people do look at those things. So, again, guys, defensive tackle, balanced. Aaron Donald, 3,500 coins, very, very nice value, something that you can get for doing basically one solo challenge at this point. You can get this card. So I definitely would recommend it. Now let's move on, guys, and let's talk about some pass rushing specialists. These guys are defensive tackles who uh, really, they're not necessarily great against the run. But they're very, very good against the pass. So if you're in a third and long, fourth and long situation and you just need your defensive tackle to get to the quarterback, I really would look at these guys. So on the left side of your screen, you've got the ultimate legend, John Randall, 250,000 coins. Probably right now, 
I think it's probably the best defensive tackle in the game um, in terms of overall attributes, aside from the boss edition, of course. Uh, but very, very nice attributes across the board. He is, uh, you know, great against the run and great against the pass. But I think it's interesting because a lot of people look at the card on the right as just basically being a collectible. And I actually think that this card is usable in some situations. Like I said, if you're in a, sp a specific situation where you know your opposing team is going to be throwing, you definitely want to consider putting out a guy like this John Randall because he's got some attributes where he is going to be able to get after the damn quarterback. 91 speed and 93 acceleration. That's like almost cornerback speed out of a defensive tackle. And then when you look at the fact that he has 98 finesse move, that's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Those those attributes are crazy. They're better than the ones that you would get out of the actual Ultimate Legend. It's six speed faster and three acceleration faster with the same finesse move. He also, interestingly enough, has 95 pursuit. Now, of course, when you look at the attributes that are uh, aside from the pure pass rushing attributes, strength is horrible, block shedding is horrible, tackling is horrible, hit power is horrible, but he is going to be able to get to the quarterback. That's the thing that's kind of interesting about this card. Um, I actually haven't used this one yet, so I want to hear from you guys what you think about this card as far as, like, it, it does it play as well as this this looks. I mean, that's the real question because uh, these attributes look like he might be the best pass rushing defensive tackle in the game right now, maybe, again, besides the, the boss ultimate legend. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below because this is really the exact type of attributes that I would be looking for if I was looking for somebody to get after the quarterback. And again, 7,000 coins to get this. You can try them out. Do a couple solo challenges. Let me know, guys, what you think about this card. Let me know if he gets to the quarterback for you. Um, and then, guys, let's move on to the second set of pass rushing defensive tackles. On the right here, we've got Jabal Sheard, and he is going for 8,000 coins. We're going to show We're gonna show on the left side of the screen Aaron Donald, 75,000 coins, 94 overall. This is a team of the year item. Um, again, not the best card on the right, but definitely a solid pass rusher because you look at the speed and acceleration combo, you've got an 83 speed with 91 acceleration. You compare that to Aaron Donald with 84 speed and 90 acceleration. Basically, they kind of you know make up for one another. They're basically the same thing. And then you look at the fact that Jabal Sheard also has a 94 fi for finesse move. Compare that to Aaron Donald's top move, which is power move in this case, and he's got a 94 there. So very, very interesting. Those pure pass rushing attributes are almost identical between these two cards. So again, if you're looking for somebody to get after the quarterback, I would really consider looking at Jabal Sheard, 8,000 coins, very, very cheap. Um, and he's definitely somebody that can do a little bit better against the run than John Randall can. So if you're in a situation where it's like a third and four or something, a third and five, and your opponent might run, you might want to consider Jabal Sheard versus John Randall, just, you know, given the potential situation um, but again guys good attributes overall nice play recognition out of this card as well kind of interesting he does have 91 play recognition which is a little bit surprising to me um, it is an easter card so you know I, I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not but um, you know something to think about anyway so again 90 overall still really really good card 8,000 coins great budget card here Jabal Sheard so now guys let's move on and let's talk about some run stuffing specialists because I think that the run stuffers a lot of times get forgotten about in this game because everybody's so focused on getting after the quarterback and rightfully so Madden has really become primarily a passing game if it hasn't been that for years now but at the same time with the inside zones and the inside runs that people like to run this year I do think it's important to have some run stuffing defensive tackles so the guy that I put on the right here of your screen is Damon Harrison he's going for 15,000 coins this is a, t a team captain card 90 overall and we're going to compare him to Marcel Darius, the signature card, which is going for 475,000 coins. Now, first of all, I'm going to say right off the bat, no question about it, the uh, the Marcel Darius is a much better player in terms of getting after the quarterback. There's no question about that. And it's hard for me to find high-priced you know, pure run stuffers. So I found a guy that I think is better against the run than he is against the pass. But Marcel Darius is really, if you look at his attributes, basically great at everything um, other than pure speed he does only have 78 speed but that is substantially better still than Damon Harrison um, Harrison is kind of almost a rock in the middle of your defensive line because his pass rushing moves are not good and 89 is not it's not horrendous but it's not good um, but if you consider the fact that he's 59 speed with 77 acceleration that's terrible 
But where he does make up for it is that he is an absolute monster against the run, which is something, again, that we need to think about. If you're in those third and short, fourth and short situations, this is the guy you want on the field. 98 block shed, 95 strength, 98 tackling. Those attributes are all elite for defensive tackles among anybody. Now, he is lower than Marcel Darius by one in block shed, two in strength. But at the same time, again, we're comparing him to a card that's 475,000 coins. So you would kind of expect that. Uh, The thing I like about... Damon Harrison as well is that he does also have nice player recognition and pursuit if those are things that you're interested in. Um, I think pursuit does matter against the run because it is a, a, it is an attribute where the the guy can kind of almost get some of those, uh, I don't know what you would call them, speed burst tackles, I guess, uh, if they have good pursuit. So something to think about, 15,000 coins, very, very nice against the run. And now, guys, last but not least, we're going to take a look at the another run-stuffing defensive tackle for a little bit lower of a budget, 3,500 coins. Again, you can get this by basically doing one solo challenge, so I would definitely try him out, see if you like him. And we're going to be comparing Benny Logan on the right side of your screen, again, 3,500 coins against Haloti Nada, Final Edition. Um, and got, by the way, guys, I accidentally said Football Outsiders in my previous video instead of Final Edition. Obviously, I know these are Final Edition cards. I don't know why I said Football Outsiders. I have no idea. But uh, anyway, moving on. This is a final edition Haloti, not 85,000 coins. Again, we're looking at really the pass rush or the run stuffing, not the pass rushing in this case. Um, obviously, Haloti Nada is, uh, he does have better pass rushing moves. He does have a 90 for power move and a, and a 55, which is horrible for finesse move, uh, versus Benny Logan only having an 83. But again, both of these guys are not great against the pass. There's no question about it. It's all about the run stuff for these guys. And that's where these guys are both very, very good. 97 block shed, 98 strength for Haloti Nada, 96 and 95 for Benny Logan. They both have 94 for tackling, and both of them have solid hit power as well. Uh, play recognition wise, obviously, Haloti Nada is 10 higher. That's substantial, but he's only one higher in pursuit. So if you're looking for somebody that's just a pure run stuffing defensive tackle, Benny Logan for 3,500 coins, I think is going to do a very, very nice job for you. He's a great player in this game and uh, definitely test him out. Let me know what you guys think about all of these cards in the comments section below. And with that being said, guys, let's wrap this thing up because I do want to thank you all for checking this video out. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. And again, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think about these cards and let me know as well what position you want to see next. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.